All right, good morning, guys. It's kind of a different video today. Uh, it's about five o'clock in the morning, and uh, I'm gonna go pick up the boys, and we are gonna go to Austin, Texas, for a Tim Kennedy range event. It's uh, at the Range Austin. It should be a lot of fun. It's kind of a blog, but we'll do a quick checklist. Got my business cards. Got my axles, just in case we shoot there. You never know. An extra charger. Got my cool shades. A couple Smash Time stickers. My We the People jerky. Man, if you guys haven't tried this, it is the bomb. I love this stuff. And then, of course, we got Pistola. And then the, the newest thing I have is this. Check this out. So hopefully, most of the videos going to be shot on this. Should look a little bit better. We won't know. We'll find out, right? All right, so let's get on the road. Good morning, Ammo Seekers. Man, it's a little dark. It's a little dark. You can barely see me. Anyway, it's about uh, 6 o'clock. Head over to pick up the boys. And we are heading to Austin, Texas today. Today is a very cool event. I was kind of hanging out uh, with the wife on Thursday. And uh, I saw on Instagram that Tim Kennedy is having an event at the Range Austin. And uh, I've always wanted to meet Tim Kennedy. And uh, I don't know. I decided let's see if anybody wants to go. I called Barry and Mike. They both got uh, their permission slip signed by their wives. And I got mine double signed. Uh, and then we are heading to Austin, Texas. So at six o'clock, we should probably be there about, I don't know, if we stop at Bucky's and goof off a little bit, we'll be there about 10 o'clock. All right. The CVS, just pick up the boys, we're going. Austin, here we come. The fever shot. Oh. <laughs> that's, the, that's the beauty of editing, Barry. We can always edit that out. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Of course, no trip in Texas is complete without our Bucky stop. So we're gonna stop here, grab a bite to eat, because the food is amazing. All right, so we're up here in Austin and we just happened to run across an academy. So it's about nine o'clock now. They open at eight o'clock on Saturdays. We're gonna stop in and see what they have on the shelf. It's been a solid hour. Let's go. All right, now if you look at this academy in Austin, Texas, the lettering's a little faded. It looks pretty old. So we're still gonna go check it out. All right, guys, here's the part where I have to do the voiceover. Uh, the last couple videos I did had copyright strikes and um, although this Academy had a little bit of ammo It's still not as much as we have here in Houston, Texas But uh, it was a good sign the store was open for an hour and there was still some on the shelf. All right, that wasn't very eventful There's not Not too much ammo here, and uh, it's probably the worst Academy I've ever been into All right, here we go. It's time to start the show. Look at this. It's uh, 920, there's already a line. All right, man, we are here at the Range Austin. It's, uh, man, like 920 and it's packed. There's already a ton of people here. They're expecting over a thousand people today. <laughs> People are just piling in, piling in. Yeah. Yeah. 
decision room. This is something that's kind of cool. You can just walk up and touch any gun you want, but I think they're it's locked. You can't really mess with them. It's kind of nice. I mean, you can really get up close and personal to these guns. This is Rico. This is one of many. I live off this stuff. <laughs> what do you like? Not bad, not bad. So this was supposed to be the 1911 wall. And there's nothing here. And I'm, I'm really disappointed in this. What a bummer. It's the hands down coolest give out of the day with these uh, glasses. <laughs> Here you go. This video will drop in a couple days. Oh, thank you. Tons and tons and tons of police training. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of your stuff lately. Shit changes. 
Yeah. Yeah. Your mind changes first, then your body, then your mind changes again, your body changes. Absolutely. Could you could you hold that? Yeah. I mean I think so. I'll get a still later. Alright. Awesome. There you go. Thank you, brother. This is not Husky tactical girth, my <laughs> Tactical girth. Tactical girth. Hit, hit the two, would you? There we go. I'll give you a little tour here, I guess. So this is Dean. Hey, guys. Hey, here. Look, got a camera. Dean, you said? Dean? Yes. Dean, nice right to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you guys. Thanks for letting us look around. Absolutely. Have fun. Come up here on the weekdays, work, you know, mm -hmm. so get away from the wife. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll edit that part out. <laughs> uh, a, lot, a lot of times, uh, well, right now they have a booth, but there's like coffee and stuff here. You can get your espresso, drinks. Then you got um, obviously the yeah, this is an eight lane dedicated bay, uh, 25 yards, uh, and the actual uh, system has a few extra from the system. It's great. Lights. It does the car turn. turn yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right where the ones downstairs don't do that. Uh, uh, bar, we got cars, a cigar yeah. back over here. And I actually didn't even point it out as it went by, but there's the humidor. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, that's really nice. Um, it's, not, it's, not it's not huge up here, but, it, but it's, it's nice. And it's a uh, good place to network. Right, keys. So what are the what are the hours for the members? Um, pretty much we can be here any of the hours that the, the business is open. Okay. It's like 8 a.m. usually to 9 o'clock at night. Those are the lockers for the TPC members. Um, this is actually they, they used to have this for VIP gun rentals. And you can see them some of them on the wall. Not very terribly exciting. But we actually use this as a conference room a lot. Wow. I have to tell you guys, this upstairs private area was absolutely incredible. So many cool things and knickknack to look out. Plus, the range upstairs was completely state of the art. Check out Mike in this old 50 cal. Again, thank you so much, Ed. I really appreciate the private tour. I owe you one, buddy. Alright man, we're all done with that event. We're over here at Southside Market. We're going to get some barbecue before we head back to Houston. This place is supposed to have really good barbecue and I'm kind of a connoisseur, so we'll find out. Well, I was going to tape inside, but it was so delicious. We were so hungry. It wasn't a pretty sight. <laughs> you guys are killing me. So it's uh, on the way back to Houston, we wanted to stop at this Jigsaw Firearms. So I'm in this Jigsaw Firearms. It's freaking awesome. Man, look at the shelves are full. Looks good. They got tons of good parts. Like if you're going to Austin, stop here, Jigsaw Firearms. 
it's pretty awesome. And the price on their pistols are stupid cheap. Like they have tons of uh, that Glock, what is that, the 43X? This is the spot, man. This is the spot. All right, man. So that's Jigsaw Firearms, just off 290 if you're on your way to Austin. Really a cool store. The prices on the pistols are very, very good. I would definitely uh, stop and check it out. You've probably driven past it a hundred times. It's, uh, man, so they've been here since 2012. All right, guys, real quick, I just wanted to recap this video. I just got back from the range at Austin. Man, it was so cool to meet Tim Kennedy, and uh, what a great event. Amazing range. If you've never been to the range at Austin, I would highly suggest just stopping by. It was mind-blowing. I've never been in a range that nice. But while I was there, I did pick up this bag from Savior Equipment. Man, this thing is sweet. Guys, we're gonna have to cut this video right here. It's running really long, and I've decided to do a full range bag review on the Savior Equipment bag. I got it for about 75 bucks, and I think so far, it's worth every penny. It, the quality of it overall seems really nice, and I'm gonna put it to the test. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.